are Herman Miller, a global brand name in office furniture. We're uh, $1.2 billion worldwide. and We produce top-end products for the marketplace, selling primarily through our dealer distribution channels to major corporates or small medium enterprises. I'm Kevin Hall, I'm International Business Systems Manager for Herman Miller, based in the UK. We've got a timeline of, of the designers we've worked with and the innovative products that we've developed and our systems have to match that. Expectation is of good quality products. We use Sightline as our ERP across the whole functionality. So we're using it from estimating order entry right through to um, the general ledger and fixed assets. Within uh, manufacturing and distribution, we're using barcoding to record our transactions. Prior to adopting that in Sightline, it would have all been recorded manually on paper. Um, and so production, you wouldn't really know until the end of the shift exactly how much had been made. Just about all of our products have uh, numerous options to them, different fabric colors, frame colors, casters, arms, no arms. And if you took all of our products and with all those options and permutate them throughout, um, you'd get in excess of 450 million products. All of our products are, are made to order. We don't make anything to inventory. The paperwork that we use is called a manifest. The manifest has all the information from Sightline printed out on it which gives us full identification through the process on the floor. As they come off the end of the production line, they're automatically posted to a location from which the logistics part of our business can then ship that off to the end client. So at any point during the day, I can, from anywhere in the world, look at my laptop and I can see exactly how well we're doing against our planned procedure for that day. We have an electronic order process, which is called EOS. That's integrated into Sightline. So a dealer can, can on their computer system, place an order that system will give them an automatic delivery date. We have processed through the plant things in, in a single day and we're able to do that. So an order can be key today and we could be manufacturing today as well. So with the uh, real-time scanning, uh, the guys on the shop floor, while they're actually going through their shift, they can see how they're progressing against their target on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. Eight to 10 years ago, um, if we could produce 40 chairs in an hour, we were patting ourselves quite firmly on the back. Um, we, kept, we now have the capability to run up to 120 chairs in an hour. We do a lot of wood processing, so we need that chain of custody, the FSC approval. Sightline gives us that visibility back through the chain of, of custody so that we can report to our customers that we meet these standards. It enables us to reduce the number of servers we're using. So we can use virtualization and limit the number of servers, therefore reducing our, our carbon footprint in an IT term as well. It has to support multilingual, has to support multi-currency, uh, different date formats, different number formats. There are things that uh, transactions you can perform in the UK, you cannot perform in China. So in foreign sightline has that country pack for China. So we can deploy that and know that we're going to be compliant within our region. Each time the upgrade gets easier, the interface is simpler, more like other Windows products, so much more intuitive, um, less training involved. But the methodology used within the tool uh, has remained the same. So there's not a big transition for users when they take the upgrade. The technology that the application's built in now makes it much easier for us to do some of those small add-on functionality without the need to modify it. So it means that we can take the next upgrade um, and bring all of our changes with us. So that's a major change for us.